while chaperoning her daughter's kindergarten field trip to the Walker Arts Center last week. On the way back to Chelsea Heights Elementary School in St. Paul, Maggie Zimmerman was alarmed to find a man on the bus. He kind of popped his head up over and then popped back down again. So, I mean, he was hiding. She would later learn he was a 61-year-old level 3 sex offender. Carol Evans not naming him unless he's charged with a crime in this case. But we've learned through court documents the man has three prior convictions for sex crimes, one of which involves sneaking onto a Minneapolis school bus and touching himself. While his last sex case was pending, court papers say the man admitted to his probation agent that most Sundays he goes to the bus depot and touches himself on the buses. When he was sentenced in 2016, documents say the judge ordered, quote, you cannot enter school buses or school bus garages. This is like a serial crime for him. This is the thing that he does. He hops on school buses. Parents like Maggie are disturbed. The man was released from jail and is not locked up while the case is investigated. I feel like as long as he's out there, he'll just keep getting on buses. The Chelsea Heights principal told parents at no time were students unsupervised and that surveillance video revealed he entered the bus when it was empty. She said that he, they could see him prying open the doors on the bus. And the principal also wrote they asked their bus contractors to reinforce their policy. When a driver enters or exits a bus, they must walk through to verify the bus is empty and ready for its next route. And I reached out to the Monarch Bus Company, which was operating the bus, and they did not give me a comment about what happened. The reason the man was released from the Ramsey County Jail is because this case needs to be handled by Minneapolis police in Hennepin County. Julie. All right. Thank you, Lou. Mm -hmm.